Hi, my dear students. Today we will learn about the electric field inside the dielectric. Now, in our previous classes, we learned about the polarized object and the potential due to the polarized object. There we see that the bound charges produce uh, the polarization produces the bound charges and they cause the potential and electric field. Okay, so there are two types of fields. One is the field which produces the polarization, and the second one is the field which is produced by the polarization. Okay, so the second field, that is the field which is produced by the polarization, is due to bound charges. It can be represented by the surface bound charge density and the volume bound charge density. We discussed it in our previous classes. Okay. Now, we have to think about what is the electric field inside a dielectric. Okay. See, we all know that we assume the polarized object as in terms of polarization, which is defined as the dipole moment per unit volume. But we know that actually the field inside the dielectric is not uniform. There are bumps and rimbles in this, uh, inside this matter. The electric field is not uniform everywhere. Polarization is not uniform everywhere. So if you, if we look very close to this uh, atomic structures or, or this microscopic fields inside the dielectric, we know that the field is more if we near to a charge, for example, in an electron, uh, in the near to an electron. But if, if we move away from this charge, the maybe field is get reduced. But all these are about the microscopic fields. But we are interested only in the case of macroscopic fields. That is the fields which is defined average field over large distance. Large distance means the distance which covers thousands of atoms. Okay, in that case we can call it as macroscopic field. This is the average field inside the dielectric. Okay, now we want to find out what is the potential due to this uh, charge, this average field distribution inside the dielectric. Okay, so there is macroscopic field this is defined as the average field over large distances Inside the dielectric. Inside the dielectric. Here, large distance means large distance means distance which covers. Thousands of atoms. Okay. Thousands of atoms. So, we are interested in this macroscopic field, not in the microscopic field. In this case, in the case of average field or the macroscopic field, we can assume the dipole moment this polarization is almost. Uh, smooth over the inside the dielectric okay now how can we find out this macroscopic field that is the next question for example we can assume we have to find out the field at the point r okay there is dielectric here assume that there is a dielectric here and we need electric field at this point r Electric field due to the polarization at the point R 
which is inside the dilator. Okay. Now, what we want to do? For, so, assume a sphere about this point. Assuming this point as center, we can construct a sphere like this. Okay, there is a sphere like this. The sphere has radius capital R. Okay. Now, we can assume the, uh, we can find out the electric field at point R as the sum of the electric field at R due to the charges outside this sphere and electric field due to the charges inside this sphere. Okay, so the electric field at point R, electric field at point R is given by electric field out, out means the charges which lies outside this sphere. We assume a sphere here. There is polarized charges inside this sphere and outside this sphere. Because this sphere lying inside the dielectric. Okay. So, there is uh, the electric field at R can be treated as sum of electric field due to the charges outside the sphere plus electric field due to charges inside the sphere. Okay. Electric field due to charges outside the sphere plus electric field due to charges inside the sphere. Okay. Now, what is this E out? Okay. We want to find out this E out. Okay. So, before that, we can find out the potential. We all know that if you need electric field, it is always easy if you find out potential. If you know the electric potential, taking negative gradient of the potential gives you a corresponding electric field. Okay. So, the electric field H R due to the outside charges, which lies outside the sphere, is given by E out. The corresponding electric potential V out is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 integration over outside region of the sphere. Okay. Then polarization vector over this prime coordinate divided by script R square R cap d to prime. Okay. This is the potential due to the polarization P. In this context, this polarization is outside the sphere which we assume here. Okay. This is the scale, uh, the potential, electric potential uh, at position R due to the polarization outside this sphere. Okay. And let it be 1. This is equation 1. Okay. Now we need electric field due to the inside uh, charges inside the sphere. Due to charges inside the sphere. Okay. And we know that this polarized charges inside this sphere is very close to this point R. And so we can't find out in this way. Okay. This is valid because of the uh, large distance from this point. Okay. But in the case of the polarized charges inside the sphere, this type of analysis is not valid. But we can, we need only the average field. So the average electric field at point R due to the Charges inside the sphere is given by minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 p by r cube. Okay. Here this small p represents the dipoles inside the uh, sphere. Okay. Now, we know that we can write this dipole in terms of polarization and we know that this dipole moment is given by 
capital P polarization into volume 4 pi by 3 R cube. Okay. If we substitute this here, we get that the electric field inside the sphere. Electric field at point R due to the charges inside the sphere is given by substituting here minus P by 3 epsilon 0 minus P by 3 epsilon 0 okay this is the electric field due to the inside charges okay now what is the peculiarity of this expression here this capital P represents the polarization okay this equation gives us the electric field inside a sphere of uniformly polarized sphere okay this represents the potential sorry this represents uh, the electric field inside a uniformly polarized sphere okay we get here the electric field in, at this point due to the charges inside the sphere is equal to the electric field due to a electric field inside a sphere due to a uniform polarization okay so what happens now now inside the dielectric what we have done till this moment we are assumed a point inside the dielectric where we need to find out the electric field and above the point we construct a sphere where its radius capital R is a large R. Okay. Then we find out the electric field inside this point R as a sum of two terms. Electric field due to the charges outside the sphere plus electric field due to the charges inside the sphere. Okay. Then outside the sphere, we can easily write this expression because we, we assume only the microscopic field. And so we can use this type of express, expression. At the same time, inside the charges, in the case of charges inside the sphere, this type of analysis is not valid because we know that these dipoles are very close to this point and there is ups and downs. Okay, But we can use this expression. This is corresponds to a dipole moment P. Okay, this is the equation. Then we can write this in terms of the polarization like this. Okay, then you get an expression like this. But from this expression, we know that this is the equation corresponds to the electric field inside a sphere where its polarization is uniform. Okay, in that case, the bound charges resides only on the surface of the sphere. Okay. In that case, you get an expression like this. So, what we can do now? We can assume that the, elect the potential at this point R is given by this expression with the entire volume. Entire dielectric. Because we can see that this is actually the electric field at this point due to the charges outside the sphere, okay? And the electric field due to the charges inside the sphere is exactly looks like an electric field due to a uniformly polarized sphere, okay? So we can combine these two concepts together, okay? So... Electric field at R due to the charges inside the sphere is uniformly uniformly polarized sphere. Okay, so we can combine the potential due to this as the potential
potential due to a sphere where the uh, potential is due to the charges outside the sphere plus the potential in, uh, on the surface of the due to the charges on the surface of the sphere. Okay, so you can write the potential at this point R is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 integration over entire dielectric this polarization R prime R cap by R square D tau prime. This time this integration over entire dielectric. Okay. So this is the potential due to inside the dielectric. Once you get this potential, we can find out the macroscopic field inside the dielectric. Okay. This is all about the field inside the dielectric. If we take in this analysis, we assume a sphere. Instead of this, if you assume any shape here, then also you get a corresponding result. That means we can assume this potential or the electric field inside the dielectric in terms of a smooth polarization like this macroscopic field. Okay.